Two companies A and B each earn annual profit that is normal with same mean. The standard deviation of A's annual profit is half of its mean. In a year, the probability that B has a loss is 0.9 times the probability that A has a loss. Compute the ratio of standard deviation of B profit to standard deviation of A's profit. So uh, they have the same mean, uh, a mean with the same positive mean. So let the mean be new for both of them. It is mentioned that the standard deviation of A's profit is half of the mean. So standard deviation of A's profit is half of its mean. So therefore sigma A is equal to nu by two. And if X and Y are the profits of A and B respectively, then we are given that probability that um, A company has a loss. Loss means that uh, the profit is less than zero. So probability, uh, uh, so we are given that um, the probability that B has a loss is 0.9 times the probability that A has a loss. So B has a loss means probability Y is less than zero. Y is the profit of B. And that's equal to 0.9 times the probability that A has a loss. So now uh, we change the Z score for uh, Z zero into Z score for company A. Company A is this expression, probability X less than zero. And uh, we change this one into Z score because uh, we have, um, I mean, I mean, we'll change the other one also, but uh, since we have more information about company A, we're also given uh, that its standard deviation is half of the mean, whereas nothing is mentioned about company B. So we'll work with A first. So we, we want to find this probability X less than zero. So for that, we have to change this zero into Z score. So uh, our basic formula, It'd be Z would be the X, which is zero in this case, minus the mean, which is nu divided by sigma A. And we are given that sigma A is nu by two. So negative nu over nu by two is equal to negative two. So Z score for the zero for company A is negative two. So therefore probability X less than zero is the same as probability Z A is less than negative two. And we don't have negative values in the table. So we change it into probability ZA greater than two. That's by symmetry. And now that's the same as one minus probability ZA is less than equal to two. And now less than equal to two can be found because remember table only has cumulative values. It wouldn't have this one, but it will have this one. So let's see what's the cumulative, uh, what's the Z value corresponding to a cumulative probability of two. So for two, we have 0.9772. <laughs> so one minus 0.9772 is equal to 0.0228. So that's the probability that X is less than zero. Now we're given that probability Y is less than or equal to zero is 0.9 times of that. So 0.9 times 0.0228 equals 0.0205. Now, um, our goal uh, is to find the ratio of their standard deviations. So uh, right now we know that probability Y is less than zero is 0.0205. And uh, the way we have to work around this is we first have to find the Z score corresponding to this probability. And then we will use an expression like this to find the standard deviation of B. We already have the standard deviation of A and then we can find the ratio. So uh, again, we are being told that this cumulative probability of Y less than zero is 0.0205. So now from the table, we can't see the 0.0205 because that will be corresponding to a negative Z value and uh, table only has positive Z values and probabilities that are 0.5 or greater. So as we've done in the past couple of problems, uh, we work with the complement of this prop probability and the Z value that you will get for the complement will be a mirror image uh, of the Z value for this one. Just the same uh, absolute value with opposite signs. So let's take the complement of this probability. 
uh, 1 minus 0 0.0205 is 0 0.9795 and see what's the z value corresponding to this cumulative probability. 0.9795. Now we don't see 0.9795, but we do see 0 0.9793 and 0 0.9798. So we use interpolation. 0.9793 is corresponding to 2.04 for the z and 0.9798 corresponds to 2.05. So 9793 and 9798 correspond to 2.04 and 2.05. So by interpolation, you know that you put the required probability over here minus the lower one and you divide it by the two extremes that you see in the table, 9798 and 9793, that's 0.4. And that tells us that we are 0.4 of the way. So if you do interpolation this way, that you do the required probability minus the lower probability in the table divided by the two extreme values in the table, then uh, the number you get tells you that you are this much of the way between the smaller value going from the smaller value to the larger value. So you are 0.4 of the way between 2.04 and 2.05. It means uh, you have 2.044. So this basically tells you the third decimal place of this one. So 2.044 is the Z corresponding to 0.9795. And remember, we were looking for 0.0205 and that uh, was the complement of this. And so if 0.9795 corresponds to z equals 2.044, then 0.0205 will correspond to z equals negative 2.044. And now we have the z score for company B's expression. Remember, this was the expression probability y is equal, y is less than zero is 0 0.0205. And uh, for the zero here, we found that the z score was <clears throat> negative 2.044. So negative 2.044 is the z score corresponding to zero. So we have uh, zero minus nu over sigma b. So sigma b from here comes out to be nu over 2.044. And remember the question was to find ratio of sigma b to sigma a. Now from, e from equation one, let's see what sigma a can be written as. Sigma A from this equation, you see, if you look at this part and you look at this negative two part, then you can see that Sigma A is actually, if you take the Sigma A up here and bring the negative two down here, so it'd be negative nu over negative two, which will be nu by two. So Sigma A is nu by two. And now if you divide equation two by equation three, the nu's cancel out and you get Sigma B by Sigma A equals, uh, this one goes up and this one stays down, two over 2.044 equals 0.98. That was choice C.